got a lot to be smiling for. Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. Yeah. So what the fuck you be wildin' for? Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. Hey y'all, hey, 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 what's up? Welcome back to my channel once again. Um, this video I'm coming at you guys with a makeup tutorial and it is a talk through um, this was requested by a couple of my followers um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for you today so we are going in with the new Afrique palette by Juvia's Place this palette is so bomb all of her palettes are bomb and I literally use them like every time I do a makeup look this palette is so so pigmented just like all of her other ones I have not dipped into that yellow yet because um, this in this tutorial we're going to do the blue, orange, and green and the like brown color you see there, um, but I'm going to dip into that yellow next time. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm just starting out by priming my eyelids and this is the Wet n Wild Concealer. It's like $3 from Walmart and it actually works really good. So I just prime both of my eyelids and blend that out with a little fluffy brush. All right, y'all, so the first color we're gonna go in with is called Cameroon, and it's like a caramely brown. It's really pretty. So I'm just gonna start by building that up in my crease, and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush that I got a while back from Target. And it's just a really nice blending brush. This is like my go-to crease blending brush right now, so. <laughs> Now, I like using uh, concealer as a base instead of like eyeshadow primer just because I feel like it works a little better and I actually don't set my eyelids I just blend out the concealer really well and I never really get any creasing or anything in my eyeshadow so I just go straight in um, so the next color we're gonna use is this green this color is called Niger and I'm just gonna pack that on right on top of where I put the caramely brown y'all <laughs> This color is so pigmented. Okay, sis. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, it's coming up so good. And like, just imagine like if you were to cut your crease and put this like right on top of some fresh concealer, y'all. Okay, um, but yeah, just keep focusing on blending that out in that crease and then start bringing it towards your inner eye and lighten up on the pressure when you go towards the front of your eye so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and I'm using that same wet n wild concealer I used previously to prime my eyes and then I'm just using a morphe concealer brush I've had this for a while um, so I'm not sure like what number it is or anything but any concealer brush will do so I'm just gonna like swoop it on the end to make it like a cup or like half moon on the end of my eye and in the front I'm actually not gonna connect it to the front front of my eye I'm kind of like opening it up so that it goes onto the bridge of my nose kind of but you guys will see like how I'm doing it and the whole time I was doing this whole process like anything on my eye I had to get used to the fact that I have eyelashes on right now um, I actually just got them done previously and this is my first time ever having eyelashes so I never have to like be careful around my eye because it's always just my natural lashes um, but this time I had to like really be mindful of that. So I'm working around false eyelash extensions and where I got them done, I'll put in the description box for you guys. So you guys can reach out if you ever want to get them done. But once my crease is cut, I'm just going to go back in with the green and deepen up that green, basically make it a little more vibrant um, so that it just pops more. Okay. <laughs> And now we're going to go ahead and take the car and we're going to put it on the end of the eye where you cut your crease already. And again, being very mindful of my lashes and just trying to pack on that color as careful but as popping as possible. Thank you. 
And now we're gonna go in with Cote d'Ivoire. This is a really pretty royal blue. And I'm just gonna blend that on to the bridge of my nose, kinda. And basically just focus on packing that color on and making it as popping as possible. And I will let you guys know, out of this palette, so far out of the colors I've used, this green and blue are really coming up to be like hella pigmented, okay? Um, I haven't tried the yellow yet, but we will try the yellow soon. All right, and without adding any shadow to the brush, I'm just gonna go in and start blending out that inner corner, um, just cause I don't want it to be hella harsh. So I'm just blending it out. Didn't add any color to the brush and circular motions really light. And then just kind of blending it onto the bottom of my eyes so that I'll have some shadow on the bottom of my eyes. <laughs> All right, you cannot forget your brow highlight, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and use this color. Um, it's like a really pretty champagne gold. And I'm just using a Milani highlight little brush that I got and putting that right underneath my brow bone. And my lip gloss, y'all, Fenty Gloss Bomb. <laughs> this lip gloss is hella bomb. Um, I literally wear it every day almost, so. Yeah, if you don't have any, get you some. Um, but it's the Gloss Bomb by Rihanna. And then I'm going to put some um, mascara underneath my eyes. So that, um, like on my bottom lashes, so that I can just bring my eyes out a little bit more. Being that I have the lashes on, I'm not going to put any false lashes on or mascara on my lashes. And that is pretty much it for this look. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the new... Juvia's Place Afric palette and let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. Thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe. Alright y'all, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!